Biochem prac in 12 hours. I'm still not done with it at all. I still need to paraphrase my information and I need to finalize my standard curve for the DNA polymerase. You know, this PCR thing. Right now, I'm having breakfast. Oh my god, why do I look like that? This Saturday, I'm going to Monash University to play badminton with my friends. So that should be fun. The next route, 900, service to Caulfield Station is due in one minute. The following route, 900, service to
class since I've last talked on the vlog, but just to give you an update, I have a neurophysiology practical assessment in two days. Um, and on Friday, I have a quiz for neuroimaging. And then on the 7th, I need to submit my neurophysiology um, scientific report. And next week, on Monday, I have two exams. One of them is for my neuroimaging practical assessment, and the other one's for my genes and genomics class. And on Wednesday, on Tuesday next week, I have an exam on biochemistry. And then on Thursday, I have an exam on neurophysiology. So all of them are the mid-semester exams. Right now, I'm currently on mid-semester break, but it doesn't feel like it because we have a lot of tests, exams, and assignments that we need to finish them. So yeah. Right now, I'm just writing down some notes and making graphs or boxes for the pharmaceutical conditions for each um, receptors. So we have adrenaline, no adrenaline, ephedrine, pseudoepidrine. Just writing down all of the clinical uses for each of them. And I'm gonna put it here on my notes that I took. So tomorrow I have a practical assessment on neurophysiology um, and we're going to be tested on pharmacology, the pharmaceutical conditions for each um, diseases. For example, we had a treatment option for Parkinson's disease, for antidepressants, um, other pharmaceutical conditions, cardiac respiratory vascular actions and stuff and right now just taking notes for each definition that relates to the drug usage if that makes sense and also i'm going through the, the learning objectives that i took last night Falling deeper, cold and nice, not no more shit. Kids are eating and no more kid. Just on this hard as you should go. Kid, I'm an honor, but don't I'm the wrong. No, I can't, just can't. Cause your name, I'm the girl. Your name, I'm the girl. I'm the girl. I just finished my neurophysiology practice this morning and right now it's 8 p.m. and I'm back home had dinner and everything right now I'm about to watch my neuroimaging lecture and I just checked 
my schedule for next week's mid semester exams and apparently I have three exams on Monday back to back so I'm gonna have my neurophysiology mid exam from 9.30 to 10.30 and then my neuroimaging from 10.30 to 12.30 and then my genes and genomics class from 1.30 to 2.30 why are you doing this to me? Why? 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 Should be okay. And tomorrow I have another quiz for my neuroimaging class. Which is great. Okay, time lapse. quiz on your imaging in the next few hours and right now I'm just going through the learning objectives and the note sets that I took last night not quite done yet so I'm just gonna finish taking down some notes and then go take my quiz vlogging for this past few days because I've been so busy um, finishing up my neurophysiology lab report and I finally finished it last night so basically it took me like two whole days to finish it um, it's kind of my fault because our teacher gave us almost a month to finish this assignment but I somehow started it three days before the deadline and stressing myself out about it and tomorrow I have three exams and right now I'm just going through the learning objectives for my neurophysiology because that's the first subject that I had to take for neuroimaging I think it should be okay because I've learned this from my second year it shouldn't be too bad it's just more information that we need to know. It shouldn't be too bad. And the last exams that I'm going to take is on Mon on Tuesday, which is the intro to biochemistry. It shouldn't be too bad. Yay. You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking Fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes 
Cause they never know where we will fall Nobody can see it Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are After cup after cup Yeah, it's just the way we do it Anything just to block out the real life Real life Yeah, we're loving the way they Think we're so messed up Up Even if what we're doing is bad For reasons not to be like them. them, we fly around like paper planes. They never know where we will fall. Nobody can see us. Still, they wanna tear us apart. There's something different about the way we are. Helix of DNA is a simple structure that is repeated and repeated is always the same kind of thing. RNA has a bit more diversity in structure because of that single-stranded nature that forms the base pairs within an individual molecule. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground you're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Hey guys, it's been a few days since I finished my exams And I've been just chilling, trying to reset And just resting eating, sleeping. I forgot to do an outro for this vlog. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I wanted to say that you can take me high. Feels like I can fly. I don't need anybody, I don't need anybody else